Imagine sitting quietly, and suddenly, you feel your heart flutter, pound too fast, or skip a beat altogether. That sensation, although sometimes harmless, could be a sign of a condition called cardiac arrhythmia. In simple terms, arrhythmias are irregularities in the rhythm of your heartbeat. Normally, the heart has its own built, in electrical system that keeps the heartbeat steady, pumping blood efficiently throughout your body. When that electrical system is disturbed, whether by stress, fatigue, dehydration, or a medical condition, the rhythm can become too fast, too slow, or chaotic. While many people may experience a skipped beat once in a while due to anxiety or caffeine intake, frequent or persistent irregularities may signal an underlying health issue. Arrhythmias are not just about an odd feeling in your chest. They can sometimes lead to dizziness, fainting, chest pain, and even sudden cardiac arrest in severe cases. Understanding what arrhythmias are, why they happen, and when to worry is essential because your heartbeat is your body's lifeline. When it falters, even for a second, your brain and other vital organs may not get the oxygen, rich blood they need. This makes arrhythmia an important condition to recognize and address early. Cardiac arrhythmias can arise from a variety of causes. Some are temporary and harmless, while others are linked to serious heart problems. Common triggers include lifestyle habits such as excessive caffeine, alcohol, smoking, and high stress levels. Certain medications or recreational drugs may also interfere with the heart's rhythm. On a deeper level, conditions like coronary artery disease, high blood pressure, heart valve disorders, thyroid imbalances, and electrolyte disturbances play a significant role in increasing the risk of arrhythmias. Age is another factor as people grow older. The heart's electrical wiring becomes more prone to malfunction. Genetics can also play a role. Some families have a history of rhythm problems that get passed down. Interestingly, Athletes may also experience arrhythmias because of structural changes in the heart caused by intense training, though this is usually harmless. Sleep apnea is another hidden culprit that often goes undiagnosed. Each of these risk factors contributes to how the heart's electrical impulses either speed up, slow down, or fire in the wrong place at the wrong time. Understanding the cause is the first step toward proper management because while some arrhythmias are simply annoying, others can increase the risk of stroke, heart failure, or sudden cardiac death. Arrhythmias come in different types and their symptoms vary widely. Some people may not feel anything at all, while others experience frightening sensations. The most common symptoms include palpitations, a rapid fluttering or pounding heartbeat, along with fatigue, dizziness, lightheadedness, shortness of breath, and fainting spells. There are four main categories of arrhythmias. First, tachycardia, where the heart beats too fast, often more than 100 beats per minute. This can include conditions like atrial fibrillation, the most common serious arrhythmia, where the upper chambers of the heart quiver instead of beating normally. Second, bradycardia, where the heart beats too slowly, under 60 beats per minute, which may not supply enough blood to the body. Third, premature contractions, where extra beats occur before the heart has fully relaxed, giving the sensation of a skipped beat. Lastly, ventricular fibrillation, a life-threatening condition where the heart quivers instead of pumping, requiring immediate medical attention and defibrillation. While many arrhythmias are not life-threatening, knowing the type and pattern is crucial because the treatment and risks differ. For example, atrial fibrillation increases stroke risk, while ventricular fibrillation can cause sudden death if untreated. Detecting arrhythmias often begins with awareness of the symptoms, but doctors rely on tests like electrocardiograms, ECG, Holter monitors, stress tests, and echocardiograms to track the heart's rhythm. Once diagnosed, treatment depends on the severity and type of arrhythmia. Some cases require no treatment beyond lifestyle changes, reducing caffeine, quitting smoking, managing stress, and getting proper sleep. Medications such as beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, and antiarrhythmic drugs are commonly prescribed to stabilize the heart's rhythm. In more serious cases, procedures like catheter ablation are performed to destroy abnormal electrical pathways, or pacemakers and implantable cardioverter defibrillators ICDs are used to regulate the heartbeat. Prevention is equally important maintaining a healthy weight, exercising regularly, eating a balanced diet low in processed foods, and managing conditions like high blood pressure and diabetes all reduce the likelihood of arrhythmias. Importantly, anyone experiencing frequent palpitations, fainting spells, or chest pain should seek medical help immediately, as these can signal a dangerous condition. While the phrase, when your heart skips a beat, is often used romantically, in medical reality it can be a serious signal from your body. Paying attention, seeking timely care, and adopting heart healthy habits can protect you from the hidden dangers of arrhythmias and help your heart beat strong and steady for years to come.